This is going to be a short video showing how you can increase your hydraulic pressure. Um, if you have a John Deere tack tractor with the Tough Torque K92, this is like in the older 400 series, 425, 45, 55, and the newer X series. This is actually a 595, an X595 tractor, and the pressure is at about 1,000 pounds, and I want to increase it probably closer to like 1,200 pounds. So what you need to do is take the fender deck off, and I've got another video where I show how you do that, and then you tilt the gas tank up, and this is a 19 millimeter wrench, and what you're going to do is just take the center cap off. The wrench doesn't fit down entirely onto this cap, so what you wanna do is make sure that you hold down on this so it doesn't slip off and you know strip the end of the uh, head. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I've got the shims on this little pick and what I'm going to do is just let them slide down and go on to there's a little stud sticking up here and what you're going to do is just drop a one or two washers, depending on how much pressure you want to increase it. John Deere does have two different shims. I think one is like a 0.2 millimeter and the other is a 5 millimeter. These are 0.2s. So I'm looking to increase the pressure a couple hundred uh, PSI. And all I need to do now is to reinstall this cap. And that's all you need to do to increase your pressure. Next, I'll show you how to test it. Okay, you're going to need to test the pressure, and I've already tested it using this gauge that I made. This gauge is a 0 to 2,000 PSI, and when you buy a gauge, you always want to have, if you're looking for like 1,000 PSI, you want to have that at mid-range. Gauges are not as accurate at the high, very high and very low end. So this is a gauge I used, and I'm now going to start the tractor and test the pressure again. We're going to be testing using the valve that's used to raise and lower equipment. This is the one that has the uh, detent on it where you can actually let the equipment, whatever you're doing, float. You could also test using the lower ports and they're going to be for the upper lever. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll start the tractor now and then I'm going to hit the hydraulic uh, lever forward and reverse. Okay, the reason I'm going through all this and jacking up the pressure is I want a little more lifting for my loader. I just happened to uh, have a hydraulic problem. One of the lines is leaking, and so I had that into my shop, so I went ahead and, you know, increased the pressure. I went from around 1,000. It's out now up to about 1,200, and in my opinion, I wouldn't want to go much higher than that. Some people do it. Um, actually... Uh, this could go up to even 13, 1400 pounds. The maximum is 1500 pounds for the hydro, and you wouldn't want to be doing it up that high. But this will give me a little more lift, and it's not that hard to do. So, if you'd like to see more of the repair videos and what I'm doing here, uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Uh, I'm looking for more subscribers. I've got uh, around 300 now, 
and by the end of the year I'd like to be up to 500. This is something that does take time and effort and I don't make any money off of YouTube at all so I'm just doing this you know more or less as a hobby so if there's any other thing you would like to see or you have any questions at all uh, you can go ahead and put those down in the comments and I will try to answer you uh, if I can uh, figure out what the problem is or whatever I need to do but uh, I was a John Deere tech for 10 years I've got a lot of the technical manuals so I should be able to figure out most things. I do uh, specialize more in diesels. I prefer not to work on fuel injected and gasoline engines. They're much more problematic. Uh, diesels, I get uh, good power and I always have loader tractors on diesels. So keep coming back and I'll be posting more videos occasionally. And thank you for subscribing.